Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to Tekken Armory. I'm Millie, and today I've got an awesome tutorial for you on how to use Anki flashcards to memorize Tekken moves by adding their moves as GIFs. We'll be using an app called Clip Clip Pro to get those GIFs. Let's jump right in. First things first, you'll need to download and install Anki. It is the most popular flashcard app that is free. You can get it from apps.ankiweb.net. Once you have it installed, open the app and let's create a new deck specifically for Tekken moves. Name your deck based on what you want to learn and make it simple. For example, like Punish Rainer. When adding a new card, you'll see fields for front and back. The front of the card will be the GIF showing the move in action being blocked and the back will be the frame data. Now, let's use Clip Clip Pro to capture the GIF. Clip Clip Pro is a fantastic tool for capturing screen content and turning it into GIFs. To use Clip Clip Pro, you just need it to run in background. You can use the hotkey to capture any scene and instantly turn it into a GIF file I'll just show you where you can set that hotkey. Let's try to capture a GIF from one of my videos. You can also try to capture from the game itself. Now, let's select which move we want to remember the frame data. Use the GIF Capture hotkey and set it to capture the part of the screen where the move will happen. Play the Tekken gameplay video and start recording when the move is executed. To stop the recording, press the stop button and wait for a notification to pop up on the lower right of your screen. You can click it to open the GIF file and view what you have captured. Right-click the GIF image and select Copy. Now, let's return to Anki. In Anki, let's try to finish adding a card Click on the front field and you can paste the GIF image you had just copied. At the back field, you can put in the frame data, which is minus 16. And there you have it. You've created your first Tekken Move flashcard. Repeat this process for all the moves you want to memorize. If you want to start to study, click Study Now and you will be presented with our newly created card showing only the front. You can click Show Answer after thinking of your answer and select the choices based on how well your answer is. Anki Flashcards also has a system called Space Repetition. When you are studying, you will try to remember the frame data of the move being presented and you should think of an answer. Then you click Show Answer. If your answer is wrong, you should select Again. It means when you continue studying, the card is still included in the queue and will show up again. If you select Easy, then it will show up much later, hopefully a moment where your brain is beginning to forget about it. In short, the moves that you can remember so well you will see less often than the ones you are struggling with. Remember that this is only one way to learn as you should still hit the lab. The advantage of Anki is that it can also be cloud synced and you can study your cards on your phone anywhere. Also, instead of Anki, you may also try to create like a GIF gallery by putting them on other apps like Google Sheets. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.